what I thought we could do that would be fun. Uh, I've not I've not watched this stuff for a while, but who remembers the uh, the SJW wrecked compilations from back in the day? Oh man, those things were. Oh, I'm ashamed to say, I used. Oh no, I used to watch them, and just admitting that makes me cringe so hard. Oh hey, Cors, how's it going? Oh my god, I'm cr I'm cringing. I'm cringing like you wouldn't believe right now. Okay. Holy shit, it makes me just like. Oh, I just. You know, you feel like you're folding up into yourself. You're cringing so hard. Um, so yeah, I used to watch that stuff. Now, I've not watched any for a little while. So I thought that we could just watch a few SJW rec compilations. And, um, you know, get get like get like a little bit of a, a touch point and see where they are today, you know. Because I watched some a little while ago. And all, what it was is just basically all of the clips were like incoherent... Um, you know, like public areas, there was lots of noise, lots of talking. You couldn't really hear or understand what was going on, but they were presenting it to you as, "Yeah, this is really cringe." And you'd and you'd watch it, and you'd watch it and be like, "What? Like, I don't even understand what's going on. How do you know it's cringe? I can't even hear what they're saying." You know. Um, so look, I found this person from my uh, my my high tier research, and now they call themselves Zeducation. Okay. Zeducation is what they call themselves. So I, I don't really know what we're in for. You know, I don't know what the deal is, but I figured we could uh, we could check it out. Check out what's going on with Zeducation, okay? Um, oh, actually, hang on. Let's watch this video first. Let's get a little baseline of their content, okay? Dude, freshman year. Have fun. Don't go too crazy, though. I'll try not to. See you in a couple of months, big brother. Hey, hey, hey bro. Uh... What are you, uh, what are you wearing, man? Did you just call me man? Did you just assume my gender? How dare you? This video came out five months ago, by the way. Just to, just to let you know. This video's, uh, five months old, okay? How dare you? How dare you? That is highly offensive to certain groups of people in this country. Um, assume your gender? Are you, uh, are you being serious or are you pulling my leg here? This isn't a joke. This is a joke? I'm woke now. <laughs> Some people, man. Some people. My, my pronouns? My pronouns are his and him, by the way. Just, you assumed right, but stop assuming. Well, all right. Um, look, man, I haven't seen you for three, four months. Okay. Wanna go grab some beers? Should we steal some beers out of the fridge? Go fishing? You can tell me about all the parties, all the ladies, yeah? What is wrong with you? What? <laughs> I, I, look, for me, if you want to, like, satirise something, yeah? For me, there's got to be, like, some truth in what's being satirised in your satire. But, like, this is just, like, a complete ridiculous representation. <laughs> like, there's no person out there that goes by, like, he, him pronouns that would get offended if you called them man. Right? Like, just, it's not a thing, you know? <laughs> no one talks like this. <laughs> oh my god, this is so what cringe. What is wrong with you? You know, it's white males like you and this ladies mentality that have ruined this country. What? What, what classes are you taking this semester? Well, I'm taking Espanol 1. That means Spanish for all of you racists. I'm taking the history of World War II, the reincarnation of Hitler into Trump. I'm taking gender studies, oh and I'm taking geometry. Algorithms that prove Trump is a Russian asset. You're going into debt to take those classes. Yeah, so? When Bernie gets elected, he's gonna cancel all of my student loan debt anyways. Who cares? Who cares? You're paying to expose yourself to propaganda. Typical right-wing nut job. You know, I should have known when we were growing up that things weren't right, that we had an abusive childhood. I, I should have known. <sighs> abusive childhood? What do you, dude, we played baseball, oh, built this. forts, and blew shit up. How is that abusive? Brother, don't you see? We have been brainwashed all along. We can decide right now to make things right here in this very moment by denouncing our identities and stopping all consumption of meat to prevent the world from being destroyed in 12 years from climate change. We have that choice. We can do this. I'm woke now. Let you be woke.
that, it that came freshman. out on the 11th of March. 11th of March. 2020s is when that video was released. Just in case you were wondering, I had to double check because I genuinely thought that content, that derivative and trash, surely must have come out a few years ago. Like, if it had come out in 2017, I'd be like, oh, that makes sense. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. But, um, yeah. Hmm, there we go. What more can I say? Now, let's uh, let's move on. So, we've obviously watched that absolutely top-tier comedy video. Yep. Let's move on and uh, watch this. So, we've got... <laughs> I'll be honest, right? I'm not going to... I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. I did find this thumbnail to be... It got a chortle out of me. Like, who is this woman? that <laughs> spray-painted a black power fist on her face. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Who is this woman that's done that? I'm just sat here thinking, what's this all about? This is obviously someone that, like, I don't know. <sighs> Who knows? Let's find out anyway. So we've got Woke SJW Cringe Compilation, Virtue Signaling, Gone Hilariously Wrong, <laughs> Part 4. <laughs> this is a series. We're on Part 4, people. I wonder what Part 1, 2, and 3 is like. This this should be the pinnacle of the series so far, you know. It's like the latest sort of sequel in the in the series. So let's see. In ten years, when my kid brings home their black friend, I'm Tyler Zed. Welcome to Z Education. Uh, okay. Welcome to Z Education, and welcome to another episode of You Cringe, You Win. Yes, if you cringe at any of these clips, any of these SJW clips. Yeah, yeah, that was that was kind of cringe. But listen, here's the thing, right? <laughs> TikTok is literally chock full to the brim of cringe. In fact, I think I think that like TikTok being banned in America is going to reduce the amount of cringe in the world by like thirty-seven percent. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's the standard move that you do. You get on your knees and do the battle fist. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's in the SJW handbook, right? But yeah. Okay, look. Okay, listen, listen, we're gonna give him that one. That was cringe, alright? But look, if you want if you wanna play this game, okay. Yeah, it should have been Wakanda forever. If you wanna play this game, how about we go and look on conservative TikTok and we'll pull out some conservative cringe. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, listen, listen. That was liberal cringe that we just saw, so we can disavow that. It's all good, okay? That's a progressive That means bear. you have an ounce of logic left in your brain, an ounce of sensibility, and you know that this behavior is insane, and it's not helping anybody. Before we get into oh, the man. rest of the clips, back to the clip from I've the I've got intro. these headphones. Look at this idiot. Oh, hey, look, yeah, oh, oh, yeah. Oh, solidarity. It's like, how much more condescending and arrogant can you be? This is how you perceive. It's a fo my dude. It's like a, it's like a ten second TikTok video. Like, <laughs> I think it, I think you put pretty much thought into it. It's clearly just some liberal dipshit that like I don't know doesn't know what the fuck they're doing. People with black skin, you you look down on them. You think they're helpless. They you think they need you, so you can feel important. I mean, if we're talking about the definition of racism, if you look down on somebody because of the color of their skin. Hey, you Dario. think they're helpless because of the color of their skin? Isn't that the definition? Oh my god, Milton, that's a really good point. For all we know, it could just be a conservative. We just don't know. We just don't know. It could be a conservative mocking them. Racism. You feel like you have some sort good of point. superiority over them, and they, you think that they need your help? It's mind-bottling. But fear not, everyone. November 3rd is right around the corner, and once November 3rd passes... All of this will take a back seat for four more years because all of this is driven by Democratic politicians, left-wing Hollywood nutjobs because they want to drive votes, period. So until then, we will continue laughing at all this because- Wait, so some, wait, does he think that that TikTok was a creation of the DNC to try and push votes towards the Democrats? Like, what the fuck is he talking about? As if this fucking dumb, like, 10-second TikTok is like DNC propaganda. 
You know, that's a secret agent of the DNC that's been planted onto TikTok to push folks towards the Democrats by making cringy liberal TikTok videos. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? This stuff has existed, like, for a long time. It's got... Oh, my fucking God. <laughs> this dude is... It, oh, he is... I don't know. I'm not sure. I think I think his brain is probably the size of a pea, to be honest with you. That's what I'm envisioning in his head. She's the wife of the CEO of Antifa. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> How can you be so stupid to like make a comment like that? Like seriously, it's it's pure insanity, and there is no speaking logic. There is no having a conversation logic. with these people because they don't want to hear it. They are entranced by their new religion. I'll speak to the this religion guy. Of social justice. Let's go. And before we review the rest of these clips, the rest of the SJW clips from the last couple of months, please go ahead and subscribe to this channel and please click the bell for notifications when new videos are uploaded. Now, on yeah, to some more I can't, I can't use logic against this 10-second click TikTok video. Okay, my dude. Okay. Insanity from the last couple of months. Here we go. Oh, strong language. Prepare yourselves. Nikki Haley, U.S. is not a racist country. Says a white woman, this blue check mark deranged with her own hate. <laughs> What's she talking about? She's just saying that it's kind of ridiculous that a white woman can make the claim that the US isn't a racist country. Like, the concept here is like, yeah, well, how would she know she's white? I mean, look, is the tweet a little bit dumb? Sure, whatever. But the idea that it's the deranged, and, and, you know, a deranged SJW or something, like, the point is literally just, well, you, how would you know if it's racist or not? You're white. Sadly, has no idea that this is Nikki Haley's family. Those are her parents. Oh, shit. Says a white woman. Oh, no. She's not even white. Hang on, wait. But hang on a sec. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. <laughs> oh, no. She's she's not actually she is a person of color then. She's white passing. Well, yeah, this is the thing. Exactly right. Exactly right. Because the thing is, is like in America, race politics are like a bit unusual, right? Isn't she the one that said if the cops shoot her son, it's for the best or something? Okay, look, fair enough. Listen, he's got us again. She's not actually a white woman. Leslie Marshall, you're cringe. You fucked it for us, okay? You, f you let us down. Hate, sadly, has no idea that this is Nikki Haley's family. Those are her parents. And also, like, wait. <laughs> Have you... <laughs> wait, what's... She... Yeah, yeah, what's... She changed the name to H Nikki Haley. The anti-SGW joining me today. I, sh I should have let it play out. Yeah, you can post links. Deranged with her own hate, sadly, has no idea that this is Nikki Haley's family. Those are her parents, says a white woman. What? Who gave this lady a blue check mark and validated her? Honestly. This establishment is uh, not black owned. But yeah. Well, yeah, of course. Nikki Haley calls herself white. Wait, seriously. Oh my god! Yes, we win. We did it. We did a. We did a flip reverse. We did a. We did a little flip. Re yes. Well done, Milton. Nice one. We did it. We did a little flip reverse on that one. We did a little. Did a little sneaky. Did a little sneaky on you. Flip reverse it. We win. Haley listed a race as white on a voter registration form. Outstanding. An outstanding manoeuvre from Milton there. <laughs> Get dabbed on. <laughs> but yeah, listen. I think, I think, you know, the fact that, like, the fact that Nikki Haley um, was dishonest about her racial background on a voter registration form and then goes out years later and says America isn't racist... Why not be honest about... Do you know what I mean? Anyway, look. We win. We win. <laughs> Get wrecked. We, we, we win that one. Okay, let's continue. 
using, you're stealing black culture. Is, is this not black culture? Trap tea, the boba plug? Again, think, no, you're thieves. No Asian Asian people stealing black black no. culture once again. Once yeah. again. It's okay, you'll be exposed though. So you're not black owned. You're stealing black culture. Okay. Yeah, you're this is dumb. Black culture. No, I came here because I thought it was black owned. That's why I came here. I told my friends, I'm supporting a black business. This is not black owned. You're not, this is not oh black this owned. Is cringe. Asian stealing, stealing black yeah yeah i mean what what even is this clip has anyone seen this clip before <sighs> like what <laughs> yeah yeah it's cringe but where are these clips coming from they're not prominent clips, right? Because you're a coon! The best part about this meltdown is the boba tea that she is mad about, also called bubble tea, is a tea-based drink invented in Taiwan during the 1980s. Huh. No, no, what was the end? Okay, listen. Calling the C word. No way. <laughs> oh my god. Listen, okay, here's the thing with cultural appropriation for me, right? Like, there was a thread that our Conquest of Dread did, which was talking about, um, like, tattoos, and, and um, I, I can't remember off the top of my head. Really? Holy shit. Okay, let's just pretend that didn't happen. Um, but yeah, and, and it was like, like, these tattoos, yeah, that's it, exactly, um, my whole, Ma I can never say these words. Ma Maori. Is that right? Maori? Oh, fuck me. I don't know what it is. Some words I have just have trouble pronouncing. Like, sh sh like shitty Freud. Like Schneidenfreud. Schneidenfreud. Is that it? Sch Schneidenfreud? Anyway, yeah, yeah. So it was a really interesting thread. And it spoke about how um, basically this like uh, Tony Hawk or something had taken these tattoos, which for a number of reasons are like culturally significant and they're kind of individu individual, etc. And um, they, they just stuck them in a video game. They just stuck them in a video game, like to, to profit off of this to some degree, right? And, and it's stuff like that that I think is like, yeah, that's, that's shit. I mean, in this case, it was t like the woman was being totally ridiculous. Do you know what I mean? She, it wasn't even accurate that that was happening. It's just like ridiculous. And I think I think that like sometimes there can be like um, you know people can get frustrated with certain examples of it. But for for me, broadly speaking, the 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 thing that I think needs to be challenged is the systemic issues that surround it, rather than just going off on some individual for like you know. Do you know what I mean? <sighs> Anyway, come on, let's continue. So all that outrage for nothing. All the outrage for nothing. Oh, it's bubble tea. It's like tea Multiple with bubbles in. NFL teams cancel practices. Drew Brees. Well, what, what was that? What was that video that we just watched? We didn't hear anything. We just literally saw that link clip. Jacob Blake name on helmets. Oh, the athletes, the millionaire athletes who play a game for a living, who live in La La Land, far removed from reality, far from the everyday life that you and I have, where we wake up and we actually have to go to jobs and do work to get money and earn a living and make our way through life. These people, they play a game for a living, and then they have the gall, the gall to have this feeling of self-importance to jam this down our throats. Drew Brees. You are spineless. You are spineless. What? What's You're going on? You're the one who said standing for the flag is a must. You promoted that, and then you bent over to the mob, and now you're pulling a full 180 and doing garbage like this. Stick to football. That's what you do. That's what you put all your time into. That's what you're good at. Stop telling us how to feel and how to think, because we don't care. AP says it will capitalize black, but not white. Yeah, mm. that deserves a round of applause. We solved it, guys. We solved racism. 
I don't know what that's division. about. Yes. Mm, I got no AP. idea what that was about. AP, that's a national news outlet. They did it, guys. They did it. See, not fake news. Not fake news. They're solving issues left and right. Trump. Trump. Oh, no. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Like, listen, listen. I think I go after low hanging fruit sometimes, right? Like, I go look at a channel. I'm like, all right, this will do. Let's cover this. I mean, this dude is literally just putting like totally random TikToks from cringy people, like from some like libs. Like, where did he even find this person? Howard Johnson. Like, who the, f who the fuck is Howard? Look down here. It says TikTok Howard Johnson underscore. Howard Johnson underscore who 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 the who the fuck is Howard Johnson like who is Howard Johnson does anyone fucking know who Howard Johnson is who the fuck is Howard Johnson leftist thought leader Howard Johnson In the US, it's a recognised it's recognised a black and white as proper nouns like American or British, not as descriptive colours when used to describe race. Oh, right, okay. Mr. Johnson, like this dude is just doing some weird, weird lib liberal dance. Like this is like a liberal mating call, I guess. <laughs> Look at this guy. I like this. This is good. This is fucking funny. I don't understand. <laughs> Neither do I. Neither do I. What is that doing? What are you? Trying to portray her. Trump, Trump, I don't understand. Dude, you got no fucking leg to stand on. You did a video like five months ago with some cringe ass shit, fucking shit tier. Oh, fucking you assuming my gender jokes. Like, get the fuck out of here. You know, your video was cringier than that dude was. At least that dude's got some fucking moves. Like, that dude can throw down. Holy shit. Neither do we. Neither do we. Fatties against fascism. Why? 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 I, I don't know. They don't like fa I don't, they don't like fascism, I guess. I mean, what, what do you like? Yeah, they don't, they're not a fan of fascism. They're against it. Like, what more is there to say? What, what, how is that like an SJW cringe correction? Like, it's just some people like. Oh, I don't even know. Like, what the fuck? Riots, not diets. <laughs> Sending a powerful, powerful message. The fact that Post Malone is one of the biggest selling rappers right now is a problem. No white person should have the distinction in a black art form. Like this repeatedly happens too though. Again, putting the color, Wait. like this repeatedly happens. I mean, to be fair, this is obviously like a systemic issue, right? Like uh, the fact that in a, in a, in a, in, in like a music format, it's the white people that like, have have a lot of success sometimes. Well, I, I don't know. I think rap is primarily pro, pro, um, like like predominantly black people that are very successful and very wealthy within the rap genre, right? I think that like white rappers are like kind of the exception. You know, is that is that right? I don't know. Louis Theroux is the big exception. White frat bros hate fat people. It angers me how they take joy in making fun of fat people all the time. It's like they're nine years old. Everyone over 40 is fat and they'll learn that soon when they get kids. True. Yeah, exactly. Unless unless you've got like an absolutely like tight exercise regime, you know, as you grow older, you will put on weight. It's how it goes, okay? It's two though. Again, putting the color over the substance. How is that not a form of racism? I wasn't raised in the hood, but I know a thing or two about pain and dark. What's this? This is just a random meme. Like, where did he find? Where did he find this? Where the fuck is this from? How is this an SJW? This is just a fucking random cringy meme. What the fuck? What is this? It's just some kid. The kid probably didn't even put that together himself. The kid probably was just a random picture and someone found it and re reddited it. Put a reddit, reddit, reddit memes on it. 
I don't know. Like, what's this got to do with being an SJW? This is just some like normal, normal tier cringe. He's literally he's scraping the bottom of the barrel and he's still not finding what he needs. So he goes and just finds random cringe memes on the internet. <laughs> oh, that was my MySpace profile. Yes. <clears throat> Come on, man. This is one of the one of the pitfalls of social media. Oh God, this, this is pathetic. <laughs> F white people. This what? This is fucking old. This is so old. This is from like 2016. Oh my fucking God, what? This is so old. What? Holy shit. Where is this? This is like from 2016. How can he? In, how can he, in good conscience, in good conscience, show this? What an absolute cringe, Lord! Holy fuck! I just can't believe he's tried to slip it in there, hadn't he? He's tried to slip it in there. I don't know. Like this is old news. Like what more do you say about it? Yeah, it's kind of a dumb suit, but who fucking cares? You know, it's some. Um, we fell in, yeah. You, but you could, it's this Mr. Bones wild ride, but you're in 2016 era discourse, okay? That's what it is. Another oldie. I, I believe this is from like four years ago. You hate yourself? You what? hate yourself? He knows. For the He's you... saying it's four years ago. Why are you showing this in a video in 2020, you fucking cringe lord? Holy shit. <laughs> Look, something out of your control? Why? Why? New York University moves to implement racial segregation in student dorms. Self-segregating. Self-segregating. This is a real story. A real story that I've seen if multiple I, If places. I remember correctly, what this was is essentially they wanted to create a space that was optional. It was an optional thing. Like, segregation, right? Like apartheid or like Jim Crow. Like, that wasn't fucking optional, right? This is an optional thing that they're setting up. So if you'd feel more comfortable living with other black people, you can do so. But you don't have to. You're not forced to do it. I mean... Okay. People are arranging the living arrangements so they're more comfortable. I, I don't know. I just don't... I just di didn't get this story why everyone was so mad about it. There's another place in Georgia where they bought like 90 acres or 100 acres or something to try and start an all-black city. Self-segregating. Honestly, I wonder what the people from the 50s and 60s, the civil rights movements, you know, when they actually segregated people by schools, when there was actual inequality, I wonder what they would think now if they saw what was happening today. They're probably rolling in their graves, honestly. Look at Melania's renovated rose garden at the White House. Does anyone else see how the small bushes spell KKK? I mean, yeah, this is just dumb. Yeah, chipmunk voice. But this is, you know, I, I, I saw this and I was just like, okay, that seems kind of dumb and just moved on very quickly from it. In Rose. November 3rd, everyone. Hopefully after then, all these people actually move to Canada. I mean, this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Silence is violence. And his shirt says, why be racist, sexist, homophobic, or transphobic when you could just be quiet? No idea. No idea. How stupid. I don't, what even is this? It's just like a picture. Of, who cares about fucking some dude wearing a tee? Oh, what the fuck? What is this? What is going on here? Why are we... Oh my fucking god. These are so garbage. They literally get to... This is... His his fingernails are like tearing off as he's digging into the ground. He, the, he's reached the bottom of the barrel. He's digging into the ground trying to find more content. And this is what he musters. Some random fucking picture from some protest, like, okay, some dude was wearing a shirt, I, I, okay, whatever. Like, I just don't... <laughs> okay. <laughs> he looks, no idea. Oh, yes, we get the Instagrammers, the Instagrammers and their blackface, look at that, oh, so powerful. Ooh, look at that one, that is just oh, yeah. artful. I made it... Just so much I mean, I made a video about this, like, what, two months ago it must be now? Fuck, this is, even this is not even that fresh. Um, but yeah, this was dumb. Um, you know, they did blackface. I tell you what, though, do you think this dude really cares about blackface? Or do you think he cares about it when these people do it? What do you reckon? Ooh, and look at this one, yeah. 
And then, oh, the fist on the face. Powerful. So. <laughs> okay, okay, listen, listen. That, that has got me. That has, <laughs> that has tickled me, okay? <laughs> what the fuck is this person doing? Why has she got... Wait. Wait, why she put the black power fist on her face? What what was this person thinking? Oh. <laughs> okay, listen. I'll uh, I'll I'll break bread with the rightoids on this one, okay? Listen, the rightoids will break bread on this one. This one's funny, okay? <laughs> listen. <laughs> Talk to the hand. Okay, I'll I'll give him I'll give him I'll give him this one. This is funny, okay? This is just a funny meme. <laughs> Who is this person? I can't see their name. Is that them there? Hor at Horror is Love. Is that what they're called? <sighs> I mean, look, let's be generous to them, okay? <laughs> let's be generous to them. They're... <laughs> They are trying, okay? They're trying, uh... They're, they're, <laughs> they're trying something. They're trying something, okay? Like, that's about as good as I can do on that one, okay? Like, they, they're... They're... <laughs> oh, my God. Can I, can I access TikTok still? Of, as the as the UK government banned it because of uh because of the you know the fact it's communist. She means well. She means well. Yeah. So look, let's get to get serious for a second, right? Um, what this person needs is just like a little bit of a point in, like, kind of just like a point in the right direction, right? Like just a little sort of, hey, look, you know, this isn't quite what we what we want to be seeing, okay? This isn't quite what we want to be seeing, all right? Ne we're nearly there. We're nearly there. Just a little bit more and we can, you know... I don't know. I don't know what that is. Okay, anyway, let's continue. So powerful. You're, you're doing a lot. Doing a lot to end racism. Doing a lot to help people. Ooh, does it change your mind what color you are? When you see my face. Color shouldn't matter. What? Dude. I mean, okay. This is just a, just this is just a clout game, really. This is just social you know, justice for clout, this essentially. Is just, this is why I hate TikTok so much. I hate it. Color should not matter. And the entire clip, the whole premise, the whole reason for it is about color. This kid literally brought a jug of water. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a bit cringy, but whatever. Oh my god, this is ancient as well. This is so fucking old. Jesus Christ. I don't know. This is one of those dumb tweets that like just goes viral, you know, it's just okay. But that jug is good. That's a good jug. I don't know. This this is just like college kids being dickheads to each other, but like publicized on social media. Stay hydrated, people. I know, I'm I'm getting some deja vu vibes with all this stuff that like is so old. Out of the class and is just drinking out of it. I hate college and I hate white people. Because apparently drinking water from a jug is what white people do and it's racist somehow and you hate white people for it. Yep, makes sense. Zero tolerance from Goodyear. Acceptable. Black Lives oh, Matter. Oh, yeah. Oh, hey, Supreme. What's up? What's up, my dude? Good to, good to see you around these parts. Um... I heard about this. Who was it that did a video that I covered? I talked about it. And I, I can't remember. I can't remember. Anyway. You got your jug. You got your jug right here. I don't know. 
This is just... Uh, I, I, I literally... I cannot muster the will to care about stuff like this. <laughs> Lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, pride. Unacceptable. Blue lives matter. All lives matter. Mega attire. Good year, everyone. That's good year. Remember. You know, I used to be very anti-boycotting. I didn't think they did much, but... I honestly... I think they're going to lose a lot of business, and this one might actually have a huge effect. Good year. You serve a lot of blue-collar people. A lot of good conservative people and you're telling them that everything they believe everything they stand for is wrong and you, i mean <laughs> good luck good luck you're being racist you're being racist check your privilege check your privilege what's going on he's the one accusing the young man who's this person what's going on here young man he's the one that accused the young man right <laughs> what Him? what he just what? came over here and told Because us. your window's broken, you're just going to get it, mad at us? What? what? It was you? How can you tell oh, what's going on? Okay. He's accusing. He's accusing him. This is what I was talking about before. Some of these clips are just like an incoherent 30-second clip. You get half the story. Everyone's getting angry and talking and shouting sometimes, and there's lots of noise. Like, what the fuck's going on? It's Tim Paul if he didn't get big on YouTube. True. I just, I'm sat here thinking like, what the fuck's going on? Literally shows the evidence, the video evidence, the, the pictures. Here's accused racist, racist. And that, everyone, is how another Trump voter was born. Yes, my dear, all white people are racist. This is a fucking Medium article. Okay, am I going to have to do the thing? Do I have to, do I have to do the thing? Am I really going to do the thing right now? Are you kidding me? Really, I don't even have it saved. You know, I don't have it ready. Look. Here's, here's my Medium article. There we go. Wonder what he thinks of that. Has everyone seen this before, by the way? That's that's the medium article that I wrote. Like, yeah. You <laughs> <laughs> I want to read it later. There you go. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Someone wrote a medium article. Like, so fucking what? You know, you can literally write anything. You can literally write fucking anything you want. Okay. There's no there's no bar for entry on Medium. Anyone can set up an account. A chimpanzee can go and set up an account. And they could they could spend eternity trying to write the works of Shakespeare if they really wanted to. Like literally anyone, anyone can go and set up an account. You know, it's it's it doesn't mean anything. Here's the story behind the Goodyear screenshot. Let's have a look. Goodyear has revised its policy on expressing support for law enforcement. Okay. The CEO of Goodyear Time and Rubber Company has released a statement clarifying the company's stance regarding what is and is not allowed inside the workplace. According to Rich Kramer, the slide that was leaked from the Topeka plant was created by an employee at the Topeka plant and did not run it through its corporate office. Ah, right, okay. Oh yeah, Kurt, I've seen that one, that's funny. Okay. Yeah, Ch 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 Network. So basically, the Goodyear thing was was like manufactured outrage over something that wasn't even a essentially a problem. Yeah, that 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 adds up. Yeah, probably not at all. Okay, let's uh, let's continue with this. There you go. There you have it. Very very good journalism. Journalism at its finest. Yeah, this was dumb. Hands down, this was stupid. Like, what was, what was, what was the, this was so stupid. Who, what, like, this is what happens when you don't have, like, effective organisation, right? Where's the organisation here? Where's the leadership of this? You know? Saying, hey, what, don't, don't do that shit. Like, what the fuck? This is, this is poor organisation right here. This is, yeah, it's frustrating to watch this, because it's like, what, who, who, oh, God. This 
This is terrible. Embarrassing. Huge props this lady for not bending to the mob. The mob filled all with white liberals who <clears throat> need something to latch onto to feel important. At least, at least, at least he admits that they're white liberals, I guess. But he probably thinks liberals are leftists, I expect. So they latch on to this SJW nonsense. So they, because they have nothing else going on in their lives, nothing of importance. Other than this, their lives are meaningless. So they latch onto nah. these ideas. No, there's absolutely no redeemable thing about this. This is just fucking a propaganda bait for the right. This is just pointless. Like an absolutely stupid move. Like, like I say, where the fuck are they? Like to me, that is that is a failure of organization to allow a, a, a protest or whatever to get to that. Or, hey, listen, do you want another answer? Do you want the easy answer? That was an op. Okay. All of these people are CIA operatives, all right? And they run with them. And they try to jam it down everyone else's throats. And again, props to this lady for not bending to the mob. All of this hysteria, well, yes, it can be funny. It is getting out of control. Everything has to do with somebody's skin color. Whatever happened to this idea preached by Martin Luther King oh, no. over color. No. What happened? I think it's a great message. That's just Why? my opinion. I think these people are nuts. I think Why? these people are the actual true racists, the one who are putting skin color over character. And I hope that all no. of this backfires on them big time in the November 3rd election. Martin Luther King. Well, the thing is with Martin Luther King is obviously one day he appeared out of the ground like literally just popped out of the ground okay he popped out of the ground he did his I have a dream speech okay and then he was swallowed back up into the ground again and never done anything else that's what conservatives think that the story of Martin Luther King is you know he just popped out of the ground one day said oh I've got a dream Do you know judge people by the content of the character not the colour of their skin and then he just disappeared. Malcolm X to defend Trump. Oh my god, that's even fucking worse. That's even fucking worse. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and every yeah, and everyone was very supportive of Martin Luther King too. Yeah, he just evaporated into thin air. Nothing happened after that. Oh my god, I tell you what. Action. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. What do you guys think about all these virtue signaling SJWs telling you how to feel and how to think? based upon the color of your skin. Let me know in the comments while you're down there. Please like this video and please help me get a recommended to others. That's it for today's okay, video. We'll Until next out. time, I'm Tyler Zed, and this is Education. Oh, no. Oh, my God. This is from 2016. Oh, my God. This is from 2016. Please, please, end me. End me, please. Please, that's from 2016. That's from Trump, when Trump getting elected. <sighs> Look at that, verified. Hey YouTube, where's my verification? <laughs> yeah, this is part four. I pointed that out at the start. <laughs> yeah, 2020 is just a 2016 simulation, precisely. <laughs> Craig Williams. Craig Williams says pro athletes need honest logos like money whore. <laughs> It's got 340 likes. Oh my god. <laughs> Fuck it. Let's, uh. There we go. There we go. That evens it out a bit. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> they were really pleased with There was a lot of guffaws at that one. Yeah, I'd buy a shirt with money horn it. Fuck it. Epstein didn't kill himself, but Goodyear Tyre did. Fabian. There's Fabian there with an absolute zinger. Okay. Mike Stevens says Drew Brees has killed his legacy as a spineless coward. Okay, that one was just a bit boring.
2020 perma cringe. Looking forward to November. Most of those things weren't even from 2020. Cyber editing, if that is your real name. Most of those things weren't even fucking from 2020. What the fuck? Most of them were from like four years ago or some shit. Oh, the first thing Martin Luther King would say about these leftists: the Democrats haven't changed one bit. Oh, okay, there we go. Hey, guess what? If you like that one, I've got some good news for you. We've got another one to watch. You thought you thought I was going to let you get away with one? <laughs> you fools. Are you kidding me? No, that's gonna, we're going to watch another one. <laughs> we're going to watch another one. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah, and this one is called... <laughs> Yes, JW triggered. Look at it. Look at it. Look. Look at this picture. Look at this profile picture. <laughs> Look at this thing. Look. Look at that. That's a thing of beauty. I'm using. I'm going to try and use that in the thumbnail. <laughs> Look at this shit. Look at that. The pussy hat. When was the last time anyone ever heard about a pussy hat? Outside of these dipshit fucking channels. Whew. I don't know. These people are trapped in a temporal loop. So look, it says here. If we make guns illegal, then nobody will get shot anymore. And that's how we stopped everybody from doing drugs. <sighs> okay. Yeah, sure. Whatever. What do you say to that? I wanted to watch this one. So there's obviously a few more recent ones, but this one here I thought had the best thumbnail. It's got like 10k views. What the fuck? Well, exactly. Yeah, exactly. You're right, Dr. Butler. You can reverse that argument the other way too, right? You can just reverse the argument. They don't think about that, though. <laughs> They're just owning themselves. Look. Yeah, 10k views. That's, pre that's pretty fucking good. I Listen. No, 7.7k. Oh, no, no, sorry. You're right, yeah. 77k. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Holy shit. Anyway, look, look. I, I was intrigued by this dude. So, anyway, look. Without any further ado, oh, that's pretty neat. I've only lost four viewers for subjecting you to another one of these. <laughs> Let's go, come on. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Holy shit. This is just... What? Okay. <laughs> what the fuck? Hazard, insanity zone. Events and activities in this area may cause serious mental degradation. Okay. Nice one. Mental disorders. If this is your first time visiting our channel, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe for more great content. Leave us an original oh comment down God. below for your chance to win a $50 Amazon gift card. Oh, what? Flag I want a $50 Amazon gift card. Can I, can I, even though I'm a lefty, can I get involved? Does my comment have to be nice or not? Symbol of slavery and lynching and raping of black people. Hispanics uh, not leaving America, what? so now wait, we wait, them leave. Wait, 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 that was like a fucking tip. What? Let's time that. Comment down below for your chance to win a $50 right. Amazon gift card. Just have a look. Confederate flag is a symbol of slavery and lynching and raping of black people. Uh, that was like a, that was a four second clip. That was four seconds. How the fuck, are, how can you figure out what the fuck's going on? Also, what was it she said? What was it she said? I didn't hear her because I was too busy worrying about how short the clip was. Leaving America, so now we have to make them leave forcibly. That's what Trump wants. So you're against Trump because you think he's going to put people in concentration camps in the U.S.? I think so. I love my Hispanic brothers. Have you ever looked at the news or anything? Huh? Have you ever looked at anything? 
I mean, a little bit. But... I mean, there are people in concentration camps already on the southern border, so unlucky. I'm like on my own shit now, bro. Like, fuck Trump. Oh, the Confederate flag is civil racism. Yeah. What's wrong? That's, that's a legitimate statement. That's true. What that person said was correct, even in that out of context clip. It's animals. Human rights are animal rights because humans are animals. If you fight for human rights and you don't fight for animal rights, you're being a speciesist. And that's just the fact of the matter. Very cool. Speciesist. That makes sense. He's the first president in like 145 years to not have a, a dog companion. Yeah. I mean, look, okay, look, I know, I know this might split. Look, we've got to be careful here. Because, listen, I know there's some people that are going to think that's cringy. And there's some people that are going to be vegans are going to be like true. We're going to get some trues in that respect. Um, what do I think about it? I, I, I think I think that it's the presentation, the presentation that's that's inaccurate. You know, because obviously this person is trying to make like a sort of ethical argument in terms of we're humans. Everyone, uh, sorry, obviously we're humans. Everyone's an animal, and if you care about human rights, but you don't care about animal rights, well. You know, you obviously don't care about animals, like other animals, apart from humans. So yeah, I don't know. It's probably the present stage of the rhetoric isn't very good, but what do you expect? It's this person shoving a mic in people's faces, like, I don't fucking, whatever. I mean, I'm not saying that dog, people that don't like dogs are bad people, but I'm just saying, it just, it's like, caring towards animals is a good trait to have in a human. You know? He's got a lot in his plate, having a dog, and that's a lot. I mean, we're trying to fight against him. That's the kind of animal abuse that he thinks should be private information because those individuals deserve their privacy. Yeah. Who did you vote for? I didn't vote. Oh shit! What? I tell you what. I like I like this girl's energy. You know? Yeah, I might disagree with the presentation, but the energy's good. <clears throat> This, this is the thing I think that it's important to recognize when you're watching stuff like this, is that like the people might be saying stuff rhetorically that's a bit like, mm, not the best way to present that argument, right? <clears throat> well, yeah, she looks like she's probably in her early 20s. She might not have even been old enough to vote, but who knows? Okay, but listen, that sort of energy and that sort of passion and that sort of fury that's what's required in organising, right? People realise this, yeah? <clears throat> you can't be like meek and mild-mannered when you're organising. You've got to be fucking robust and fucking vicious. And, you know, you've got to get in people's faces and fucking say it how it is, right? Like, this, this sort of energy... This sort of energy is, like, good, you know? But they'll present it as cringe because it's sincere. Yeah? It's sincere. And, and that's one problem, is, like... You know, when someone's sincere, it's seen as cringe. We associate sin sincerity with cringe. Hey, Red. Thanks so much for the sub. Good to see you. Appreciate it. Hope you're good. And yeah, Dr. Butler, that's so true. Like, how is this person triggered? They're literally just saying, hey, look, I feel strongly about this issue and let me explain why and let me explain my logic. So yeah, this person is just passionate, maybe not saying it in quite the right way, but she's young as well. Like, fuck me. Who, you know, what was this fucking schlub? What was this schlub doing? Jerking off in a fucking bathtub full of beans, probably. This fucking piece of shit. Jerking off into his own mouth. All these beans slopping out the side of the bathtub. What was, that was what he was up to when he was the age that she is. Who did you vote for? I didn't vote. Oh shit, what is that? Rip it! Yeah. yeah! Yeah, there's a big man! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! I'm not a man! I'm not a man! Fuck you! Get him, get his ass! fucking woman! Don't call me a man! Get his ass! I mean, yeah, someone's being like a dickhead to this person, like just being needlessly rude, like, and this person got annoyed, like, okay. <laughs> I just, yeah, I don't know. 
I don't believe in property. Oh, okay. Don't buy anything fair. I don't believe in property. So if I grab your shirt, it's okay, right? If you're not the one lying to you, don't buy it. Because then you're attacking me. I'll, I'll be honest, like, yeah, you're right. <laughs> like, they're terrified of this person. <laughs> So when you say all lives matter, I just, I want you to know that that is, in fact, a hurtful statement. <laughs> These two compilations always end up being directly fatphobic and directly transphobic. Oh yeah, of course, yeah. Of course. Of course. Oh, but that, what was that clip that just, I oh, know, like, l l listen, oh, that one is a bit like, why would you bother doing that? Do you know what I mean? But there isn't really much like cringe here. I'm not, I'm not getting much cringe or like ownage. It's literally just like a few cobbled together clips of of people that aren't conventionally like attractive as per the societal standards or like expectations that are put on them, right? Like they don't look how they're supposed quote unquote supposed to look. So oh, we they're cringe. Maybe KFC said what he said after watching thousands of these videos. Yeah, it could be. I don't know. It's just kind of like, it's all just a bit dumb, really. <laughs> it's something else going on. I'm very confused. Yeah, Milton, you're right. I don't know what the context is here, but like, my, I think broadly speaking, like hassling people in a restaurant like this probably isn't like very effective. I, I don't know. I don't know what the context is. Maybe these people are turbo fascists. Like, who fucking knows? But it's, it's all completely out of context. Yeah, exactly, Nelson. It's totally out of context. No one knows what the fuck's going on. I don't know who these people are. I don't know why they're there. I don't know why they're protesting. I don't know what they're protesting. It's literally just like, what's. I just don't know what I'm supposed to think about this. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just like, okay. Oh, they're protesting gentrification. Okay, I get it now. Right, that makes sense. Okay, they're protesting gentrification. They're saying black people used to live here. Right. I think I get it now. So yeah, I think there is some validity in like what they're what they're doing. I, I'm not sure. It's it's really difficult because like obviously gentrification, like white people will like do it and they'll move into the neighbourhood and whatever. But it's like they're acting uh, like it's, it's 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 a broader issue, right? It's a broader problem. Like it's I don't know. It's it's difficult for me to say like like I, I you know it'd be good to see the full clip so I could go okay. Well, what's the do you know what I mean? Yeah, the disruption and stuff. I don't know, like, it doesn't... Knowing that they're protesting gentrification, I'm a bit more like, okay, now it makes sense as to why they're maybe being a bit aggressive with that restaurant, right? So, yeah, I, I, I kind of get it. You know, I don't think this is particular. In any case, I don't really think this is actually all that cringy, you know? To be fair to the other dude, that woman with the black power fist on her face... I'll give I'll give that was quite cringy. But there isn't really anything here. Yeah, I think but but this is the thing, like I don't know. They need yeah, if there was a bigger group here or something, like maybe they could get something done. I don't know, it's it's difficult to know what, exactly the situation, right? Trump sucks! Trump sucks! You suck! This Ugly old bitch should stop blowing a whistle. Oh my god, that dude, that dude, that motherfucker came in blasting. Holy shit. He called that one an ugly bitch. <laughs> that's mean. I'm not down with that. That's, that's, he just came in fucking swinging. Oh my god, he wasn't playing games, was he? Holy shit. 
How's that cringy? That's just funny. That's just like funny memes to me. Can't debate on facts. You go with a personal attack. So what does he do? He calls the lady an ugly fat bitch. Misogynist! <laughs> We called him a misogynist. He could not come back from that. Who did you vote for? Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. I'm not answering your stupid questions, you Trump idiot. Who did you vote for? <laughs> the anti That dude is fascist. fucking based. Shut up. I'm not answering your dumb questions. That's so funny. How is that cringe? What's cringe about that? I don't get it. Like, we're supposed to be cringe, and I think it's fucking funny. I'm just like, this dude's a fucking... This dude's a fucking... The madman just came in blasting. This fucking... He's calling out this dumb bitch over here. This ugly bitch. He's not playing... He's not playing the fucking civility game. He's coming in all swinging. Comes in fucking blasting at this fucking... <laughs> oh my god, this is, this is great. I'm, I'm just finding this, like, largely to be quite funny. Movement in America. How is that movement fascist? I mean, they're trying to stop free speech. Anyone who doesn't agree with them, they don't allow to speak. Um, there, it's either their way or the highway. There's no political discourse. There's not two sides. You're right. That is fascism. Now, I don't know Antifa as a group, so I can't say if they're doing that or not. I just heard of them recently, but that would be fascist if they're doing that. However, that's not fascism. You got some random dude that doesn't understand what fascism is. Okay, great. Well done. <laughs> The Trump is doing that. How? What's your like? What's something that he's done that you want to talk about that you hate completely that you think is messed up that he's doing? About racism, anti-blackness, or violence. About racism, anti-blackness, or violence. Oh no. I will use my voice in the most uplifting way possible. What's this? This is like a hands up thing. Is this like from an old? This is just lib stuff, yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm not down with this. Hey, listen, I'm not down with this, okay? I'm, I'm, this is kind of cringy. I'll give you that one. <laughs> and do everything in my power to educate my community. I am a non-voter. Yes. He didn't even vote! What are we mad about? Everything. Everything. What do you think his most... What, no, what's what's the issue that you're protesting that you don't like about him? Everything, everything. Just tell me something now. Tell me something. The environment. It happened once, and the organisers understood it looked bad after the fact. Well, that that's it. You know, people make mistakes, right? And and yeah, it's kind of dumb that this has now come out, but at least they recognised. But look, uh, in fact, I tell you what. Yeah, it's a bit cringy. Okay, whatever it is, what it is. But at least, at least, it's not like harmful right at least they're not causing harm and conservatives will do a bunch of cringy shit that also causes harm you know so whilst we can have a bit of a laugh at some of these you know and we can have some memes conservatives are not making fun of people raising their hands and promising things i know fucking conservatives aren't making fun of people doing the same thing that christians do in church every single day oh my god yes true true Yeah, that's true. When a right winger does that, it's a lot cringier to me. But there we go. The parks, uh, healthcare. I mean, where do you start? I mean, healthcare. He kind of inherited a major issue, and he's doing his best to fix it. That was a tough thing before it even started. Oh look, they're doing a little shill over this. I don't not know what. Logic. Wait, wait, you said pay attention to fear and not logic? Yes. I should have paid attention to emotions and not facts? Yes. Why would I pay attention to emotions when facts are facts? I don't know what that was about. Oh look, there's that image from before. Look at this. Look at this caricature, like, oh my god, this is so badly drawn. (sighs) 
Oh yeah, we need to do a counter show. That's true. That's true. Hey, Sylph, I forgot about that. Listen, is that a sign? <laughs> yeah, it might be. Listen, if you're enjoying the show, and listen, I got some more stuff lined up to cover. Okay, um, got a few more bits and pieces to go over. So if you're enjoying what you see, grift, 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 grift. You can chuck me some money here. Okay, um, you know. Any denomination is accepted, and it is all appreciated, and it helps me with the show, helps me do all the other stuff I need to do. Um, and, uh, yeah, if you do want to support me just purely on Twitch, you can do a sub. Um, you can... I think I think there's a September offer on at the moment. Um, you can sub, or you can gift a sub if you're feeling really generous, or chuck some bits more away. Double-check your bits account, okay? Count, yeah, maybe I should do that, yeah. But yeah, if you can, chuck chuck some support my way. It's much appreciated. But um, I appreciate not, not everyone can. If you can't, viewing is, is good too. Like, I appreciate you sticking around and checking out what's going on. Um, I'm having some fun. I thought we'd just have some more memes today rather than anything too serious. So, uh, yeah, let's let's keep going. Let's push through this video and move on to the next thing. I just, yeah, what is... I mean... Okay. Back to Snowflake Land. Yeah, Back okay. to Snowflake Land. It's getting hot. You guys are gonna melt. Can we just like shut the fuck Jesus. up? Jesus. Why? Because you're being offensive. This is like this is so aggressive. Like look at this aggressive marketing here. Yeah, they got merch. I need to do merch. I really do actually. That's one thing I need to sort out is merch. But yeah. I mean look. Look at this. They've okay. Who am I being offensive to? You're being offensive. How am I being offensive? You're, 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 you're being offensive. Yourself. You're being offensive. I ask you questions that you don't want to answer. Let's go. Just move along. You have nothing to protest. I'm blocking. Let's yeah, go. see you later. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Who am I being offensive to? I ask you some questions. Hey. You won't be Champagne Socialist. I really like that name, by the way. <laughs> Thanks for the sub. I appreciate it. Two months. Let's go. Get banged to make Chud fuel. I, I don't know. You then you got pissed yourself. off. You got Look at this boomer. <laughs> yeah, soldiers of Odin. Who are they? But yeah, I don't know. It's just so basic. <coughs> it doesn't even fit on the shirt. Yeah, I know. I mean, I'd be embarrassed to wear something of that low quality, to be honest. But hey, it is what it is. Pissed off yeah, because, because you had no argument. No, because, because you had no argument. Don't cut me off and think that you're smart about it. I'm not. I'm sorry to cut you're you off. You're such an asshole, asshole, dude. You were just going off about how this is like, you know, snowflakes. I don't need your police and leave me alone, please, AJ. Don't associate me with the group. Just take the hat. Take, take the form. <clears throat> Wait. Soldiers of Odin is a pagan white nationalist group. Oh, my God. Okay. He's a pagan. So, my... First you are being... Derisive and aggressive How am and I being an aggressive? asshole. I'm talking to you. you are my words out? hurting you? No, man. It was to everybody else. I've been offended on other people's. Did behalf. I touch anyone? Did I physically assault anyone? That's not what it's I about. I said a bunch of words. It's about your attitude. Do you guys get hurt by words? Is that what it is? Yeah. Do you guys cry over words? You are. Well, it's not being a safe space. This is the real world. Not everything you hear is gonna, you know, please you, and not everything is gonna be music to your little ears. You're compromising them. I just, I don't know, I'm just, okay. Uh oh, you're compromising the George Soros money, come on. The come George on, Soros goodbye. money, oh my goodbye, god. Snowflakes. See you later, go melt somewhere else. So there you guys have it, I hope you guys enjoyed this awesome video. I don't know. I mean, yeah, I don't even know what to say to that last one. What is this? SJW versus Logic 2020. We're not going to watch another one, okay? I'm not going to watch another one. Yeah, George Soros. Mmm. George Soros money. Mmm. White, na white nationalist group. Mmm. Interesting. Straight to the anti-Semitism, yeah. <sighs> okay. What do we think of that? Yeah, it was, it was just like, I don't know, some dude got a bit annoyed with someone. Like, okay, like, fine. <laughs> All these fucking channels are. It's ridiculous. But hey, listen. I thought it would be fun to have a little look. Um, at the you know current current state of uh, of anti SCW like SCW compilations wrecked etc. There we go. Watched it. It is what it is. You know, so, some were quite funny to watch, like the one with the black power fist on her face. But other than that, terrible. <laughs>